So it seems that uh, <coughs> about a month ago, Giant Bros made this comment that he heavily shouldn't have on time like this. Rebecca Black called him out by saying you would benefit greatly by taking a moment to listen to a black perspective on an issue that is affecting them, not you. Take responsibility to use the platform you have wisely and educate yourself rather than shout your own careless thoughts. And this is what Jai Brooks said. All lives matter. Asian lives, Hispanic lives, light, white lives, Cassie Stan lives, all lives matter. And I'll get 5,000 hate replies to this, and I'm the racist one. Love, I love people, not color. Well, he continues on to say, I honestly don't care what you all say. I'm not going to give into to your agenda. I love everyone and I am colorblind. And the hate comes begin because I say I love every form of life. Uh, hypocrisy is laughable. Wake up, people. And I think he misspells my hypocrisy there. And when he right when he got called out by Rebecca Black, Jai Brooks replied to her saying, Rebecca, honestly, please don't tell me my thoughts are careless and tell me what responsibilities I have on this platform. My thoughts are definitely thought through with honest and genuine intentions, and I won't back down on what I'm saying. We are plenty of black people who have the exact same thoughts as me and are silenced because even they are called racist if they speak out. And uh, here's a response to what Rebecca Black is saying to Jai Brooks right now because at this point he needs to really educate himself. I'm sure that your intentions are good, so hopefully this can help give you a little better of an understanding. Uh, the entire idea of All Lives Matter was created solely to try to disband the Black Lives Matter movement. And by saying All Lives Matter, you're essentially saying to a group of oppressed people, mm, you're hungry, well, we're all hungry, so <laughs> we're going to eat your food. Or, it's your birthday? Well, we all have birthdays, so shut the fuck up. And what this does to a group of oppressed people is only perpetuate the disparities that they have faced for centuries. I just really encourage that you listen to as many black perspectives as you can. Read that article that I sent you. It's very helpful for a non-black person to read. Uh, and you can't speak for them. You can't speak for them because you don't have their experience. Please try harder. Do better. I know that you can. And, uh, yeah. I'm sure... Saying you don't color disregards the privilege and power of the dominant racial group of society, therefore diminishing feelings of bias, prejudice, and racism experienced by people of color. We need to abolish the idea that a colorblind society is the goal and learn to recognize our prejudice and biases in order to strengthen our 
decision making capabilities. Chai, listen. Many many people look up to you for a reason. And the fact that you said that 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 was considered racist. And it's considered and it's so racist that none of your brothers can defend you on that. Because they themselves practically understand what the Black Lives Matter is all about. They cannot understand how many times the black community had to go through every single day dealing with racism every single day for over 400 years even since then you are likely as good of a person as you used to be you do have a flap you do have a platform, first of all. You're right about that. But you cannot use your platform to go against the black people. It is extremely racist and you should take this article and read it. And maybe learn about the black culture in the black history of it and one of that maybe maybe you can apologize to the black community for saying stuff like that seriously many people